Murphy from the Bureau of Land Management. This Fire Friday, in honor of Arbor Day, we're learning about trees and how they adapt to fire. Trees have many ways that they can protect themselves from fire. One of the ways is by having really thick bark, like ponderosa pine. And by having that thick bark, it protects their phylum and cambium from surface fires, but it still doesn't protect them from a crown fire. To protect themselves from a crown fire, which are very intense and active fires, some trees develop self-pruning, such as the ponderosa pine. So they'll lose their branches that are closest to the ground so that when fire is running across the ground, it can't climb up the tree. Some trees adapt by having cones that open from a fire's heat so that they can reseed. That's like lodgepole pine. Other ways trees can adapt is by having their roots really deep down in the ground so that fire doesn't impact them. Or they can grow really fast and recover quickly after a fire. Some trees like aspen really like when fire comes through and disturbs its habitat because it restarts its growth hormone and begins to re-sprout again and grow very quickly. For Arbor Day, I'd like to talk about my favorite tree, the Western Larch, which is unique because it's a deciduous conifer, which means it turns all golden yellow in the fall and then loses all of its leaves. Now this unique tree also has many fire adaptations and we're lucky enough to see it in Idaho. Larger, extremely tall trees and can reach 200 feet. And with that, they have the self pruning fire adaptation so that fire cannot climb up to its crown, to its top. Along with that, it also can have very thick bark. When it's at 100 years old, its bark can even be 18 inches thick, definitely protecting it from any surface fires coming through. It also has its roots very deep into the ground, so it will not feel the heat from an intense surface fire. Remember how I said that they lose their needles every year? Well, that's also a way to adapt to fire because then their needles are never old and they retain more water. And of course, fire doesn't like water. Often large are the only trees remaining after a large fire. And that's because of those fire adaptations like the thick bark and deep roots and self pruning. They also like it because it gets rid of their competition. If there are too many other trees in the area, then they will be shaded out and can't survive. But fire, once it comes through, and because they survive fire so well, they can remain and then reestablish quickly because they are also very efficient at utilizing nitrogen, which there's quite a bit of after a wildfire. I challenge all of you this Arbor Day to look up what fire adaptations your favorite tree has. Trees are so interesting and fire is such a unique player in our ecosystem, but it is a harmonious relationship. So happy Arbor Day, everyone.